Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming back to join me for today's video. It is my favorites and flops for the month of August. Can't believe August is over and we are getting to the best part, the best time of the year, fall. It's still super hot, that's why I'm all sweaty, but emotionally and mentally I've been in fall for like the last three months, so. Anyway, if you'd like to see the products that I used um, during the month of August, if I like them still, um, final reviews, stuff like that, then please keep on watching. Feels like I didn't do a ton of makeup, which I guess honestly I didn't, but I did grab um, a handful of items that I used, whether it was for get readies with me, shopping my sash, stuff like that. So I'm just going to go through this. Um, okay, so this is from the Colored Rain um, brand. This is the Neutral Chic collection. Oh, this is stunning. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful shimmers. Mattes are amazing. Um, I did a pretty large um, Colored Raid haul a little while ago, like what, a couple months ago. The, the Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely love the um, quality of the shadows. Um, the cream blushes are amazing, but look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. So love this. I've got a few other shades, um, but I really like this one. This uh, kind of taupe shade right here is my absolute favorite. Like I said, the mattes are gorgeous. So they also have sales from time to time. So if you're looking for more of an indie brand to try out, definitely like Colored Rain. Um, I've been a little bit more into smaller palettes. Sorry, you guys. It is hot AF. I've been into like little smaller palettes, quads, stuff like that. Um, really, really like the All That Topaz uh, Pressed Pigment Palette from ColourPop. Once again, very similar shades to the Neutral Chic. Um, I think maybe just enjoying some some fall shades because I guess this is any time of year. But yeah, very similar kind of little family right here. So really, really nice. Um, I do like ColourPop uh, sh shadows as well. But so yeah, I've been enjoying that. Um, and then somebody, when I said that I got this Revolution Color Stay Day to Night palette, they said they bought a purple one. Uh, yeah, went on beautifully, really, really nice. Uh, it faded super badly. I actually used a um, a really good eyeshadow base, and it's still super duper. Uh, it, yeah, <laughs> not very good. So. Uh, I would totally totally skip these if you see them. They're beautiful looking, right? But goes on nice, stays for about an hour, and then after that it fades so badly. So yeah, unfortunately this was a no-go. I will still try to make it work, but it was not great. I know I just said I was really into small palettes right now and quads and stuff, and I still am. I, you know, but I really didn't enjoy getting this out again and getting to play with it and stuff. It's the Physician's Formula Ultimate Maru Maru Butter Collection. This is really nice and I do like it. So I'm glad I got it back out to play with it. So it's, it does a quick, easy look, uh, full face, base, you know, besides like base and like mascara. So, and of course it does smell like the browsers. So I enjoyed getting this back out. I do enjoy shopping my stash. So this is definitely something I want to use again. I know it's full of my heart, but it's still summer in my house, unfortunately. <laughs> we still have not turned on the air conditioning because we're we're like that. Um, the Essence Pure Nude Blushes, um, I really, really enjoy these. My friend sent me these, but these are really, really pretty. Getting a finger I did not use to wipe off my sweat. Like this shade looks pretty light, but you can really lay, layer these up and it's just a really beautiful kind of satin shade. So I'm really enjoying these. I have another shade, but if you haven't tried these, if you're looking for a new affordable blush, I would definitely recommend the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blushes. Beautiful. I think this was in my favorites and flops last month, but I don't care. The Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. Like, I've been using it almost every time I do my makeup. It's such a good powder. I wish that they would bring this back. I know that... Um, that Urban Decay brought back the original, original Naked palette. I've been watching some videos on that and I guess it's slightly different, but I wish they would, I wish Too Faced would do like a limited edition release of their Too Faced um, Peach Perfect stuff. Um, I think that stuff would sell out so quickly because it's really, really good. So 
love the powder. It's beautiful. Um, the CoverGirl Plazole Simply Ageless Foundation. I really like this. This is really, really good. Um, like I said before in that video, I've used this and stuff. Plus it just smells really good. I used this when I was younger and I think it was just too rich, too emollient. And with my combo, oil, I probably had oily skin, honestly, back then. Um, oily, acne prone skin. This was just too much moisture, uh, too heavy. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love this stuff. Just make sure you set it well if you don't have dry skin. So if you have dry skin, you'll probably just love this on its own. Um, I think if you have combo to oily, probably skip it on oily, but um, if you have combo skin, just make sure you're setting it well and it will last you all day. Looks beautiful on the skin. Love it. And then I have to talk about the um, Lancome Hypnostrama Mascara. This was sent to me through Buzz Agent um, and it's such a nice mascara. This stuff will build so quickly. It's really, really nice. It is thick. So I would definitely recommend just kind of going in with one coat, um, but it is a really good mascara. I do like it a lot. And I very rarely like high-end mascaras. I I guess I do like the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. That's my one of my all-time favorites. I do like the Monsieur Big, and I do like this. But I do like a lot of drugstore mascaras, but this is really, really good. So if you're looking for a very intensely um, thickening, building, you know, a very thickening and lengthening mascara, go with the Hypnostrama from Lancome. Really, really good stuff, so I do like it. Okay, that is it for makeup, so handful of things. Um, Hair-wise, I am so glad I repurchased this. I did a video on repurchased or uh, shampoos and conditioners that I want to repurchase, and I found these at my local Big Deal outlet. I can still find it on Amazon, but it's the Whole Blends um, Ginger Recovery. This stuff is great, I love it. I recommend it. Go on Amazon to get it, though. But anyway, so it's the infused with ginger, golden honey, strengthens and revitalizes weak hair. I love this stuff. It smells amazing. It's beautiful. Love it. So glad I do have that back in my collection. And let's see here. I have to say, I do like all of the Dove Holiday Treats collection items that I got. The body washes, um, the um, antiperspirants, once again, they're they, I'm still sweat through them because I'm a sweaty beast, as you can tell. So it just happens. Um, and then I do like the scrubs as well. I like all three scents. I do like them. I would recommend them. It smells like food. So if you want to smell like food this fall, I would definitely recommend getting the Dove Holiday Treats. It's the limited edition. Really, really good stuff. I do like it. And once again, I did purchase mine on the Walmart website. So... Yeah. And speaking of fall body washes, if you can't afford or you don't want to get the Dove, go to your Dollar Tree and get the personal care. The limited edition pumpkin spice. It smells so good. I know in that video I was saying, hey, it's kind of different and stuff like that. It is, but it's a really good pumpkin spice. It smells like legit pumpkin. Um, it smells really good. So I do love this stuff. I actually do have a backup bottle of this. Um, I've seen a lot of shorts and like TikToks and stuff of people showing this at their local Dollar Tree saying it's really good. I agree. I think this stuff is amazing. I love it. And uh, once again, packaging is on point. This stuff is not tested on animals. It's made in Turkey. I love this stuff. It's really, really good. So definitely recommend that. Speaking of Dollar Tree as well, um, the Global Beauty Care, uh, Gummy Bear Exfoliating Sugar Scrubs. They look super small. They're six ounces, just FYI. So um, they are a good size. Actually, they are deep. It smells so good. It's a really good sugar scrub. It's a little bit of a coarser sugar scrub, uh, but it's really good. The Hyaluronic Acid one is amazing as well, but I really like the Gummy Bear one. Packaging is cute. So if you are in need or if you want a new sugar scrub and you don't want to spend tree hut money, or even the Dove money, I would definitely recommend checking out the Global Beauty Treats one, the Global Beauty Care one. Really, really good stuff. I do like this. I actually keep this in my shower because I do like it that much, so I love it. Um, another hair item. This is the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Replenish Moisture CC Cream 10-in-1 Complete Correction Leave-In. It's decent. It's expensive. To me, personally, it's like any other leave-in that I have used does have good benefits, you know, 
Um, but to me, it's it's a basic leave-in. Uh, I would not repurchase this. I didn't even purchase it. It was a birthday, free birthday gift from Ulta, but I would not waste my money on buying this after I'm done with it. Um, it's it's okay. So it's not a flop. It's just it's too expensive and it's nothing that's like blows my mind. So yeah. Um, talking about fragrances now. This is the um, Al Rehab Choco Musk. So somebody was saying in my comments that it's not super long lasting. It lasts okay on me. Um, I do want to see how this will last though with like a body oil underneath. I bet that will make it last so much longer. But this brand does make body oils, the roll-on body oils, which of course those are going to be a lot longer lasting. But I do like this. It smells really good. Um, I like the packaging. So I do like this and I'm going to enjoy it a ton this fall. Um, it smells edible as well. But if you like the smell of like chocolate, cocoa, I think you really like this. So maybe if you want something super long lasting, get the roll-on body oil. If you don't care that it lasts as long, um, get the perfume. It's good stuff. I do like it. And uh, yeah. And then of course the Ariana Grande Moonlight. This is such a beautiful scent. I absolutely love this. Um, this has been kind of living in my bathroom. I know the video was just yesterday, but remember I do pre-film just because of, yeah, just because I do upload daily. Today's actually the 23rd when I'm filming this. So, but I am caught up on videos. So yeah, anyway, I do love this a lot. This is really, really good stuff. It smells so good. Yeah, it's really beautiful, sexy, feminine scent. So I do love this a ton. Um, I feel like I didn't really have a legit flop this month. Um, that You know, there's some items that I'm just like, eh, it's okay. Um, there's some that I would never repurchase. Um, sorry. But I think everything that I did use this month, everything that I am talking about, it's a decent product. I just wouldn't... I wouldn't recommend or repurchase another one of these Revlon Color Stay Day to Night because that is BS. It does not stay. And then the Alterna um, leave-in conditioner, like I said, it's not a bad product. It's just not an amazing product, especially for the price. But anyway, we are coming to September. When you're seeing this, you know, it's, it's basically September. So um, I'm super excited for fall. Hopefully it starts cooling down soon because I am ready not to be a big giant Ooh, yeah, big giant sweaty mess. So anyway, but there we go. Um, I hope that you did enjoy today's video. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, share it, all that kind of stuff. Let me know down below in the comments if you're ready for fall, because I know I am. Also, let me know down below in the comments what are some products that you used this month. Uh, any ones that you would recommend, maybe not recommend, let us know down below. And uh, make sure you subscribe. I do upload seven days a week all about budget stuff. So I do budget beauty, obviously. I do vlogs grocery hauls, recipes, home care. I do all sorts of stuff, so make sure that you do subscribe. But I do appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start autoplaying here in a moment. It might be one of mine, it might be somebody else's, but sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll see y'all here in just a sec.